from red light runners to convenient cops, bad bikers to tumbling tools, this episode of Wham Bam Dash Cam is packed with action. And even our first sighting of a cart angel? Just Dave was headed home from work when the driver of a pickup truck pulled across his lane, leaving him no opportunity to avoid a collision. Just Dave chose to steer toward the front of the pickup in an effort to avoid injuring the other driver. He turned out to be a 78-year-old man who hadn't looked left before pulling across the road. Just Dave's Hyundai Palisade summoned first responders. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries, but Just Dave's Hyundai was totaled by the collision. He told us he misses it dearly, but he's thankful everyone is okay. Just Dave said, tell your viewers to get a dash cam. I used three of them in my totaled vehicle and they made the insurance process painless. He also told us he enjoys the fantastic narration and not having to pause the video to read text descriptions. Thanks Just Dave, if you agree, we hope you'll subscribe. Peaky Fox was on her way home from a church event when she suddenly realized her Buick Encore had lost all traction. Peaky Fox was unable to regain control after her SUV began to hydroplane. She told us she was sore for a few days, but she was thankful her toddler hadn't been in the vehicle with her. Sadly, the Buick was totaled after receiving a repair estimate of 17,000 US dollars. The worst part is that she just put new tires on it only two days prior. She wanted to shout out her mother Kelly for giving her a ride home after the wreck. Miguel was driving home one night when he watched the SUV ahead of him run a red light. What the guy didn't know was that a police car had just passed Miguel and was approaching from behind when he decided to drive through the red light. The officer saw what happened and served him up a helping of instant justice. Scott was waiting to make a left turn when another driver turned across traffic without waiting for an opening and got T-boned by an oncoming car. The car was spun around by the impact and was nearly pushed into Scott's Prius before rolling forward. Scott pulled over to make sure everyone was okay and he gave a copy of his dash cam footage to a responding deputy. Scott wanted to shout out his daughter who was singing Stressed Out by 21 Pilots when the collision occurred. Thomas was leaving his neighborhood when he watched a pickup pulling a trailer come to a sudden stop, sending the drawers of a toolbox and all the tools inside crashing onto the ground. The toolbox actually tipped completely over and fell out of the trailer, spraying tools all over the place on its way down. Needless to say, the pickup driver was not happy about what had happened. Thankfully, Thomas believes he has pinpointed the problem. He told us that the pickup driver clearly forgot to slap it twice and say, that's not going anywhere. Josh was delivering a Grubhub order when the driver of an orange pickup truck suddenly gunned it through a red light, forcing Josh to slam on his brakes. Josh told us he was traveling at 55 miles per hour when this happened and T-boning the pickup could have easily been a very dangerous situation. He also told us not to worry, the Grubhub order was delivered on time. Phew! Shakira was leaving her neighborhood when she approached a three-way stop. After stopping, she proceeded through the stop sign, but so did the driver of a Toyota Corolla on her left. The Toyota driver blew through her stop sign, T-boning Shakira's Ford Explorer. Shakira called 911 and told the police what had happened, but the other driver told them Shakira had run her stop sign. She immediately pulled up her dash cam footage on her phone to show the cops. Sadly, even after being found responsible for the collision, the other driver had insufficient insurance to cover all Shakira's medical bills. Jessica was headed into town and was about to merge into the travel lane when a white SUV blew past her. She thinks the SUV was going around 90 miles per hour. 
Hold on, did you see that? A state trooper was running radar in the median and witnessed the SUV speed past Jessica, and he immediately pulled onto the highway to chase it down. Sadly, we don't get to see the pretty lights come on since the trooper pulled up next to Jessica to pull the SUV over. But Jessica assured us that they definitely got some of that delicious instant justice we all find so sweet. Sam was taking his son to an appointment when the driver of a pickup truck ahead of him slammed into a light pole without warning, sending debris flying all over the road. It looks like the pickup's front tire impacted the curb before it drove up onto the sidewalk and into the pole. Sam asked us to shout out his son Ryan and said they are both huge fans of all our channels. Thanks, guys! Manuel made a split-second decision to merge right to make it through a yellow light, but it looks like the driver of the Jeep just ahead of him had the same idea. Manuel told us he used his turn signal and it looks like the Jeep driver didn't. Thankfully, no collision occurred, but it begs the question, who do you think would have been at fault if contact had been made? Let us know. Rebecca was getting ready to turn left to get onto a Georgia highway when the Dodge Camaro in front of her began rolling backward. Even though she honked, the driver didn't get their foot on the brake in time. Sorry, did I say Dodge Camaro? Obviously, I meant Chevy Mustang. Not like it matters, since they're both basically just a reskin of the Ford Charger. Anyway, there wasn't any damage to either vehicle, so both drivers continued on their way. I must admit, it's refreshing to see the full skill of manual transmission drivers on display. Of course, we all know that Teslas don't have transmissions at all, and the single-speed gearbox doesn't count, but that doesn't necessarily mean Tesla drivers are better drivers. Trevor sent us this week's Tesla Behaving Badly. That, that Tesla man can drive. That, that Tesla man can drive. That. The driver of a black Model Y used a left turn lane to pass traffic during morning rush hour, but Trevor told us he ended up passing her on the highway five minutes later in spite of her creative maneuver. Pete the trucker is a trucker, could you tell? Who was driving his Freightliner Cascadia down a highway when he watched a motorcycle pass a car on the inside shoulder. As the motorcycle passed, the driver of the car was startled and swerved away from it before losing control and spinning into the median barrier. Predictably, the bikers sped off, unconcerned about the mayhem they'd caused. Mr. The Trucker stopped to check on the driver of the car, but they left before he was able to give them his dashcam footage. He hopes they might see it here and use it to settle their insurance claim. It's not always the biker's fault, though. Casey and his wife were on their way home after a thunderstorm when the driver of a car merged into their lane without checking their side view mirror. Thankfully, Casey has more situational awareness than the driver of that car and was able to avoid a collision, even with the wet road surface. It's a good thing because a collision like that can be fatal for a motorcycle rider. Casey told us the police in Tennessee will do nothing about bad drivers, so they didn't report the incident. He asked us to tell people to look twice for motorcycles and to get off their phones while driving. Our lives depend on it. Don't Panic was on an Iowa highway when he watched another driver, well, panic. The other driver got startled by merging traffic and swerved before losing control and hitting the median barrier. Well, that looks pretty familiar. Mr. Panic stopped to check on the driver and told us they were okay. Johnny was waiting to go straight through a red light, but when it turned green, the driver of an SUV in the lane to his right decided they needed to turn left instead. Johnny just kept going, but he noted that the driver of the blue debadged SUV must have really needed to turn left. Maybe he's on his way to buy replacement badges for his two-wheel drive 2001 Chevy Tahoe. 
Martin was in traffic waiting at a red light. When it started moving, the driver of a Toyota in the left lane drove into the back of a Renault that had barely started rolling. Martin was so excited to have captured a video on the dash cam he bought in June that he forgot to stop and give his footage to the parties involved. Thankfully, it doesn't look like the collision would have caused any injuries. Mike was waiting at a red light to make a protected left turn. As soon as his light turned green, an oncoming driver who was not turning decided it was his turn too. Mike hit the brakes, avoiding a collision, and the driver of the Mazda waved as if to thank Mike for letting him safely run his red light. Mike thought maybe the light had malfunctioned, so he checked his rear dash cam angle. Sure enough, the Mazda driver was halfway across the intersection before his light turned green. Thankfully, it was only a close call, as Mike's Hyundai Ioniq also contained his daughter and her friend. Ashley watched a Mustang driver barrel through a red light and get T-boned by another car. Ashley stopped and checked on the drivers, and they were both okay. Both vehicles were heavily damaged, and police responded to the scene to investigate the collision. She told us she and her husband love all of the Wham Bam channels, and this is the first collision they recorded on their brand new dash cam. If you're a fan of our channels, we hope you'll consider supporting us on Patreon. Gary was getting ready to park in a parking lot when he noticed the driver of a minivan blocking a disabled spot while loading his vehicle. He didn't mind waiting for the guy to finish, but then he left his cart behind. Gary was amazed that the other guy would leave his cart out for the cart demon to exploit, but then a cart angel appeared and moved the cart to a safe location. Hallelujah! Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man! Please support the show!